You need to jump start a dead car battery? Here's what you do. Grab your jumper cables and another car or a 12 volt battery. Or you could grab a portable jump starter. This is my most recommended product to people. Honestly, every car in America should have one. And yes, I love Interstates Charge and Go, but any brand will work. Just go get one. But you don't have one now and you need to jumpstart your vehicle battery, back to the jumper cables. They do come in different gauges and lengths. Make sure yours is long enough to reach between vehicles. For most smaller cars, a four to six gauge cable will work. Larger vehicles may need a two gauge cable. Check your manual to be sure of your battery's needs. And if you need to jumpstart a hybrid or an electric car battery, refer to your owner's manual because they're a little different. Turn off the vehicle, use your parking brake, and remove the keys from the ignition as a safety precaution. Your owner's manual will tell you where to locate your battery, but typically they're under the hood. Once you find your battery, identify the positive and negative terminal. The positive terminal is typically marked with a plus sign and may have a red cap. The negative terminal has a minus sign and may have a black cap. Check for battery corrosion or damage that may have caused an issue. If you're all clear, it's time to connect your cable. Start by attaching the red positive jumper cable to the positive post of the dead battery. Then connect the other end to the positive terminal of the fully charged battery. Next, attach the black negative jumper cable to the negative post of the charged battery. Ground the other end to an unpainted metal surface near the dead battery. This may be a nut, bolt, or part of the body. Double check that all your connections are securely attached with the battery cables on their terminals and the metal pieces of the jumper cable clamps touching the metal parts of the battery terminals. Accidental disconnections could lead to a failed jump. Start the car with a fully charged battery and let it run for two minutes. Then start up the car with the bad battery. Once started, be sure to let it run for a couple minutes. That way the alternator can charge up the jumped battery. Safely disconnect jumper cables in reverse order of how you put them on. In most cases, that means the black negative clamp from the jumped car, then the negative clamp from the booster car, then the red positive from the booster, and finally the positive from the jumped car. After you let your battery charge, turn your engine off, then restart your car to make sure your charge is holding. If not, repeat the steps above. If the charge is still not holding after repeating the steps, it may be time to get a replacement battery. So after a jump start, head over to a service department for a diagnostic or a replacement. Don't forget to release the parking brake and check for any dashboard warning signs before driving away. Now that you know how to jump start, you just need to remember the order. Positive, positive, negative ground. That's a fake tattoo, by the way. Visit interstatebatteries.com for your battery needs.